Hi, this is Ajin. This video will introduce the features of latest OWASP Xenotics Exercise Exploit Framework. Let's have a look into the added features. The scanner module is having a new feature called the OWASP 1.0A request scanner. It allows Xenotics to scan web applications which are using OWASP 1.0A. So now you don't have to worry about those URLs which are signature and non-protected. And the latest version of Xenotics is having a payload strength of about 4700 and plus payloads. And an interesting feature that will do a lot of benefit to scanning will be the fuzzer. This version of Synotics will be having three kinds of fuzzer. I'll be coming to them in a short while. Let's have a look into the exploitation modules. So exploitation modules, uh, this version will be having an addition of HTML application drive-by, HTA reverse shell, HTA network configuration, then the Firefox reverse TCP shell add-on for Linux. And then we have the social engineering related HTML5 geolocation exploitation module, download spoofer, etc. In auxiliary modules, we have a new feature called the JavaScript encoder. So it allows you to encode JavaScript into three different formats. So basically, we have three different encoders. Uh, one is JSFARC or 6 star encoder, and then is AA encoder, and then JJ encoder. Now, in information gathering modules, we have two additions. One is IP to location and IP to geolocation. Let's have a look into the latest version of our Synotics. So, uh, Synotics has gone through a lot of changes in the GUI. So, we have modified a lot of things to make it look simpler. So, uh, this is a scam module. This is the information gathering module, the exploitation module, the scripting engine, and the auxiliary module. We'll have a look into the latest additions. Now, let's have a look into the scanner module. The latest additions in scanner module are the get request fuzzer, post request fuzzer, advanced request fuzzer, and auth 1.0 request scanner. Now, in the information gathering, we have this IP to geolocation and IP to location modules. In the exploitation modules, we have done a lot of changes, so we have categorized them in a proper way. And in the social engineering modules, we have this geolocation HTML5 API, then HTA network configuration, HTA drive-by, and HTA drive-by reverse shell. In the Firefox add-on, we have this reverse TCP shell Linux. And in the auxiliary modules, we have this JavaScript encoders. So uh, let's go into the important feature of Synotics, that is the fuzzes. So, uh, this version will be having three kinds of fuzzer. They are namely blind fuzzer, intelligent fuzzer, context based fuzzer. So everyone knows that Synotic strength is based on its payloads. So Synotic is having a payload database that is having some 2000 or 3000 payloads over which it can be mutated to form about 4000 plus payloads. So the approach used by Synotic is just blind fuzzing. So the problem of blind fuzzing is it's so much time consuming and it, it may not give you the result as you expected at times because it may even DDoS the website. So considering all those problems, we have developed two fuzzers called Indeli fuzzer and context based fuzzer. So uh, what does Indeli fuzzer do? So Indeli fuzzer, what it does is it will first detect the WAF that is enclosed by the web application. It will detect all those characters which are in its database and see if those characters are filtered or not. If those characters are filtered, it will make a check against all the payloads in the Synotics default payload database and will allow only the payloads that does not contain these filtered characters. So, in essentially, it will reduce your scan time and will give you a better output in a lesser time. So, that is the advantage of Intelli fuzzer. Now, let's move on to context based fuzzer. So, uh, you might be knowing about the context in XSS. So, there are different contexts like HTML context, style context, script context, attribute or URL context. So the payloads for different contexts are different. In the context based fuzzer, we use a different methodology. It doesn't make use of Synotics payload database. Instead, it will detect the context and it will check for the presence of WAF or a filter and ideally it will detect what are the characters, specific characters that are filtered by WAF. It will only check for specific characters that are required to escape the context. And then the context based detector, what it does is, once it identifies that the context is HTML, then it will provide a set of payloads that are suitable for that particular context. If 
style context is identified, again it will add a set of con payloads that are specific for that particular context. If script context is identified, then again script context specific payloads are added. The same will be doing for the attribute or URL based context. So now we have the payloads which are context based as well as those payloads that does not contain the filtered characters. So now this will make your scan time a lot lot shorter and give you a better result in a very short time. These are the three incredible facets of the version 6 of Synotics. Again, you have to remember one thing, this IntelliJ fuzzer and context based fuzzer depends upon a lot of ideal cases. So in real time web application, you might find the situation a little bit different. So in such cases, it's always you should go with blind fuzzer. So again, in situation where scan time and whether the web application doesn't take that much of load, then you should consider using IntelliJ fuzzer or context based fuzzer. So that's all about the three fuzzers of Synotics. So we are talk about different ways of detecting, exploiting and gathering information with excesses. Now we should also talk about something that helps developers to fix excesses. So we have released a cheat sheet called Ultimate Excesses Protection Cheat Sheet for Developers. You can download it from Open Security website or from the Synotics website. Also from now on we have a dedicated website for Synotics. It will be available at http slash slash synotics.link. If you have any bugs, requests, queries, or you would like to contribute to this project, you can contact me at Arjun Abraham or at Synotics or you can email me at arjun.abraham at awas.org. Now download and documentation. You can download OWASP Synotics from uh, http slash slash synotics.in or from opensecurity.in or from the official project website that is hosted at OWASP. So if you don't want to type or remember all this, just Google for OWASP Synotics. So thank you.